today's hangout, the, uh, the special of our week are the EMR Defenders. And so those of you guys that were on the tour, you know how much I love the EMR Defenders. So there's the little dome EMR Defender that, you, that if you have something that you need to put it on the outside, they last a year. So all three of my headphones have got a dome one on there. Then we also have the EMR Defender, the cell phone booster, which is a sticker so that it looks like this. So what the sticker is, it's the exact same thing, except that you, if you want to put your phone in a case, if you've got the little dome bubble, mm -hmm. it's going to fit in the case properly. Yeah. So, so that's where the sticker works out really, really good. Now, if you're like me and I stock these stickers for my clients, I, I don't always know when I put mine on there. So I just got this phone uh, in April, uh, one between one of the legs of the tour. So I actually wrote on the sticker the date I put it on there. So I know when in the year I need to replace it because I, I used to always just look at my invoices from SST like, Okay, I bought that. Okay, so that, that's when I put it on. I've bought so many of these now for my clients that I I have to, so try writing on there and uh, so that it can make it easy on you. Um, so last week Ron was asking me. And I was did, just gonna ask. <laughs> he asked me, did, did Stephanie have you test out a new type of EMR cell phone blocker? You know that. And I go, no. He says, well, he, oh, okay. Well, this is what it looks like. So Ron showed me the one he had on his phone. And I we show brand. I just want to show. And so we have that that meter here that we've done with testing what works and stuff. And so Ron put his phone up to the meter with that new sticker on it. And what would you say, Ron? I would say it didn't do a thing at all. It didn't, it didn't, you know, I mean, the meter, you know, hit the end of the dial, you know, just like we normally see it when you don't have anything on your phone. And the nice thing was the one Fernando has on his phone, he just showed you, it barely moved, I mean, the needle barely moved at all. I mean, it was like, it was almost not, not like the phone wasn't working, but it was obviously. But the, but the protection value is so huge. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just incredible. And, you know, I what I'd like to do eventually is get maybe we'll go out and buy a bunch of different ones or something and do a bunch of different testing and actually do a, a video to show you how good ours actually are. But was it a was it two years ago? I think it is. We did the original testing when we had your phone, my phone, Stephanie's phone. I don't know. Uh, Liz's Probably phone or huh? yeah, it's it's a few like years. Ago. And uh, and we did all these different testing, and and our products were just. I mean, we knew they were good, but then we had the proof. Um, it, it's just really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So just because we always want to make sure it, it, it something qualifies as seriously smart, we don't want to we don't want to sell you things that are seriously stupid, and and you know we've been selling these EMR defenders for seven years, eight years now, and I love the fact that their quality has not gone down and that they're still doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is protecting us and our families and our loved ones and our clients from EM radiation, which is only going to get worse. Now that 5G is making it to cell phones and not just routers and home phones, now we have it on our cell phones, and that's going to be spreading across the country. 